Yeah. Do they open the eyes? Oh, for the bourbon. Happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome into Love My 419 for the Harold Jaffe Jeweler Studios. I'm Andrew Z, Tracy Boyce. Steve Remy is here. What are you doing, Steve? Oh, I'm just, you know, making sure. Sunday, <laughs> Sunday proper. Okay? <laughs> Sunday brunch before you came in, making sure it's not in your teeth? Yeah, Jesus don't like untidy. <laughs> no, no, that's, no, that's true. <laughs> so, I want to start off with some sad news. I know um, it was a few days ago, but uh, the funeral is this Tuesday. Yes. And uh, former Mayor Jack Ford, who I consider him a friend. Oh, my gosh. Um, his, him and his family have been so good to me. You know, uh, when I would do coffee with the Fords, I, yeah. it was a oh, family. Yeah, you guys both did. Yeah, it was a family affair. And, you the whole was. family was hanging out there on set, and um, it just—it was just a really sad thing, especially coming off the mayor Collins, yes. and then the mayor before. I mean, we've had three mayors now in three months uh, yeah. that have passed that away scary. of Toledo. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, it's like a cloud. Of I know. Like, do you want to be mayor? <laughs> yeah, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Opal needs to rethink. <laughs> we, might, we might want to pull away from that effort. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. I thought you guys were running, right. but <laughs> I'm just saying. But yeah, it is so sad because yeah. I mean, you think about Jack's, you know, the base of him in the community and everything that he's done mm -hmm. and Cynthia and Will and I mean just, just a great family yeah. and knowing Cynthia I mean who better for the city than Cynthia I mean, absolutely my gosh. well I, I get a I get a great story for you so uh, the, the <laughs> week the week before um, I was on, on coffee with the Fords mm -hmm. Cynthia was out of town so uh, she was back so it was her and Jack on coffee with the Fords on 13 ABC and then I and then I was the guest on there and um, I had something for Jack that he didn't know about, and the crew, the crew was the crew was very hesitant about about <laughs> letting it come out. So I said, I said, Cynthia, while you were gone, Jack and I had some fun, and wow. we had, they, they they flashed a picture on the monitor of Jack driving a motorcycle so with well, uh, someone driving a motorcycle with Jack's head superimposed on it, and my head superimposed <laughs> on the back, holding onto his waist. Oh. So, <laughs> so, so I'm like, I'm like, Jack and I went <laughs> we went motorcycle riding, and the the whole the whole crew. Oh was just quiet for a minute because no. no one knew how the mayor was going to take it. And they, didn't even, they didn't even want me to do it. They didn't know how the mayor was going to take oh, yeah, yeah. it. Mayor, quiet mayor starts too. busting out laughing. And I said, I said, that's, good. I said, that's the first time Jack's laughed in 25 years. <laughs> From Jack that point on. Reserved. I know, was so that show was always very kind of quiet. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, thoughts yeah. and prayers go out to him and the, whole, and yes. the whole family. Oh, and of course, yes. like I said, the to, memorial tomorrow and then yep. uh, the funeral mm. is going to be yep. on on Tuesday. All right, uh, let's move on to other things on the show. Yeah. We got a bunch to do today. We got uh, the Glitz Glam Giving Fashion Show that Steve put together uh, oh, yeah. a week or so ago. We got some highlights from that on the way. Also, musician Andrew Michael Ellis is in studio. He's going to perform live. And we've got a Bellamere Sweets giveaway to give Ooh, away. We have some lucky finalists that want to win that uh, Bellamere Sweet. I may have changed my name, but. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, I did too. <laughs> it's on the way, I love my 419, hang on. We have a staff that's in generally from 8 in the morning till about 6, 7 in the evening. Uh, we can work by appointment on the weekends as well. We want to be your trusted advisors for all your needs and let us do all the work. We want to protect your assets. Let us be involved. 419-872-8600, the William Swade Agency. Mayhem's everywhere. Get in good hands with Allstate and the William Swade Agency. Love My 419, brought to you in part by Powell's Beauty Supply, servicing Toledo for over 30 years. Coming up, more Love My 419. Love My 419, brought to you in part by Amy's Cleaning Service, the Wonder Woman of Cleaning. Feature your business on Love My 419. Visit our Facebook page and message us, Love My 419 or on the web at lovemy419.com. Now, back to Love My 419 on NBC24. Welcome back to Love My 419, the Harold Jaffe Jeweler Studios, Andrew Z, Tracy Boyce, Steve Remy are all here. And Steve put together an amazing event, the Glitz Glam Giving Fashion Show at the hosted by the Manor at Perrysburg. Yes. Uh, to benefit also the Alzheimer's Association. What a great oh, event you put on, Steve. What fun it was. It I really mean, was. It was so much fun, and we raised a t We still have money coming in. Yeah. Oh, that's we awesome. We still have money coming in. I mean, the people have been looking at the posts and everything. They're like, I want to give, I want to give. So I'm, I'm like, even later on today, I'm going to be picking up another check for the so Alzheimer's cool. Association. That's great. Yeah. That's great. So here's some of the highlights from the fashion show last week. Don't remember who you are 
good afternoon, and thank you all so very, very much for coming to our first annual Glitz, Glam, and Giving Fashion Show. Manor at Perrysburg is so proud to be hosting this event, which is a wonderful uh, fundraiser for the Walk to End Alzheimer's. We've got some amazing models, some VIP models. We have family members who have loved ones that are stricken with this disease of Alzheimer's or dementia. This is her wedding dress, you guys. Oh my. How does? Okay, because some guys want to know, do you have a boyfriend? Yes. Oh, hey. There you go. And look at that little bag. What could you get in that bag? You couldn't even get a Tic Tac in that bag. Look how good. Seriously, really? But you look great anyway. Welcome back to Love My 419 from the Harold Javid Jewelers Studios. Andrew Z, Tracy Boyce, Steve Remy, and we've got a special guest in studio. He's going to be traveling the country, leaving here next week. He's got a new album coming out in May. His name is Andrew Michael Ellis. He's from the 419. He's performing for you right now. On a dead end street Where I learned to ride my bike That old oak tree Before I had to learn to fight I wish I could get back Wish I could get back there tonight 
I tried to wash it all away. I cried because I had to stray. I got news for you, buddy. These are the good old days. Summer seems so short, winters went on for years. Embrace with my family through the laughter and the tears. I wish I could get back, guess I haven't been in years. I tried. Wash it all away I cried Because I had to stray I got news for you, buddy These are the good old days Don't know much about time travel, quantum physics and the like. I'll just hold on to these memories till I reach eternal night. I don't need to get back there where I am feels just right. I try again. To wash it all away I cried Because I had to stray I got news for you, buddy These are the good old days Welcome back to Love My 419 from the Harold Jaffe Jewelers Studios. Andrew Z, Tracy Boyce, Steve Remy, brought to you by Burger Bar 419. Good flipping burgers, yes. And I'm telling you because after church today, you're going to be wondering where to go on a nice day today. Uh -huh. Yes. Kids 10 and under eat for free after 2 p.m. So there mm. you go. What? Mm. Till when? There Till what time? Till the bar closes. <laughs> Seriously? So they, at both locations? At both, both? locations. Heather, yep. Heather Downs and Key in the Colonial Village Shopping Plaza and the spot on Monroe. There you go. Burger Bar wow. 419. Kids eating free after 2 o'clock. Don't dress up like a kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice try, Steve. <laughs> we, got, <laughs> we got a special guest in studio. You know, we've been we've been working, partnering with Bellamere Suites, which, mm -hmm. you know, is, is one of the most romantic hotels in the country. It's oh. always in magazines. It says, you know, that, hey, it's a top 10 and things yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. And we, we, we partnered with them on doing a giveaway. We want to do an overnight stay for someone that deserves a night out. Ooh. And we have got one of our finalists here, Mallory McCloskey. Hi, Mallory. How Hi. are you? Hi. Good. How are you guys? Uh, good. How are you? Good. So, so tell us. You 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 sent us in a story, um, and I'll, I'll read some of it. But go ahead. Tell tell us your yeah. story. So my husband and I got married about five and a half years ago, uh -huh. and we knew that we wanted to have kids. So we immediately started trying, and um, nothing was working. So I went to the doctor to kind of figure out what was going on, and I was told that I have something called PCOS. Um, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they said that the likelihood of us having biological children would be very slim. Mm -hmm. So how how devastating is that for you? Someone that's the, uh, you're a teacher, right? Yes. Yes. Someone, yes. Someone, I'm a preschool uh, teacher. Preschool. Someone that's a preschool teacher. How devastating is it to hear that news? Absolutely devastating. I I just I didn't want to believe it. I just I kind of knew. Um, growing up, like through my teen years and stuff, that mm -hmm. something wasn't right and I had gone to the doctor and stuff, but to hear them say those words was oh, yeah. unimaginable. So, yeah. so you, so go, keep, keep on with your story. So, um, we bought a house uh -huh. and 
decided that we were going to start fertility treatments. Well, six days after we bought our house, our house caught on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With <laughs> us. Crazy. Right? Uh, With uh, us asleep in the house. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, so, how, how did, so what happens? So you, the alarm goes off, you smell smoke, what we happens? We didn't have smoke alarms yet. Oh. Like, we still had boxes everywhere. So uh, oh we, um, our dogs, we have two dogs. Uh-huh. At the time we had two dogs. Our dogs just started barking and it woke my husband up and he... So, so you wake up. And, you wake up. Is there smoke all in the house? Yeah, there's smoke everywhere. Do you, do you see flames? Um, no, we couldn't see anything, so we didn't really know what was going on. So uh-huh. we run out, and um, my husband. We have two dogs and then a cat. Mm-hmm. So my husband runs back in the house and gets the animals out. Like that's what he was worried about. We wow. thought we were doing the right thing by opening the windows. Uh-huh. Why? No. It creates a backdraft. No. Is that yeah, what it does? you're not oh. supposed to do that. Oh. Apparently, it feeds the fire. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh. And then our house address is really close to um, another address. Like uh-huh. it's kind of a crazy address. Uh-huh. So the firefighters went to the wrong house. Oh. So, uh, yeah. was it, so was it a total loss? Um, no, we, the inside was completely gutted and we remodeled it. So we lived with my in-laws for five months while they Super fun. The house, right? <laughs> oh, right? Everyone wants to do that. Yeah. Oh, Did you ring yeah. like the bell when you needed like <laughs> That's no, I was like super, like oh my goodness, please oh. just let me get through this time. And you had you had insurance, insurance and all that. Yeah, we had insurance. Thank God. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, we yeah. Bill moved back in. Uh huh. <laughs> so I'm living with my in-laws, and I'm oh. on these fertility oh, no. hormones. Yeah. I was crazy. Well, on top of that, the only way to to have a kid is. Yeah. 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 And you're like, honey, I'm ovulating. And he's like, this is my mom's bed. And I'm like, girl, this coffee is not strong enough. Okay? This coffee ain't strong enough. Right? (laughs) Oh, Lord. Craziness. Oh, my gosh. Right? I need it. (laughs) You need Bella Mears. Oh, you need. (laughs) Sure. The contest is over. Just give it to her. You can't make this stuff up. I'm no. just saying. <laughs> Mallory, we, we have some other finalists to bring in, but we're just going to send them home because you've got to be our winner. Yay. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh we're sending them home. <laughs> send them home. Right. Send them home. <laughs> Contest over. Oh. You're good. Steve, can you get them a dinner to Burger Bar, a nice dinner? Girl, what else do you need? I oh, love right. Burger <laughs> Bar. Sign me Girl, up. Okay. <laughs> You need some 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 uh, she some wants tips, that bacon. fingernails, oh, fingernails. Look at how, look how bad we, we, that you know, bacon dip. We we use our friends at uh, at the limo uh, first class first class limousine. limousine. Sure. You need some popcorn. I know somebody oh, that's some you know, popcorn. You know, you know somebody's got popcorn. <laughs> yeah, that's, we oh. can put that in the room. Mallory, wow. we're we're gonna hook you up because you deserve it, girl. Thank and, you uh, so much. Thank you so much for taking time to come in and good luck with everything you do and becoming foster parents and it's super exciting and and now you and your husband can do it and you don't have to worry about time or anything just just do just make some whoopee make, make some whoopee girl yeah <laughs> make some whoopee <laughs> wow amazing. there it is Mallory McClassman congratulations thank you so much to Bellamere Suites um, the most romantic ro- hotel in town make sure you go check them out when you're looking for a little night out, out with your uh, when you're living together we'll take a break come back with more Love My 419 coming up next hang on Welcome back to Love My 419 from the Harold Jaffa Jewelry Studios. Andrew Z, Tracy Boyce, Steve Remy, brought to you by Rachel Michaels Gourmet Popcorn. And I'm talking about Easter is coming up. Could you imagine your little kid's Easter basket and some of that? Strawberry and the lemon and the orange the and pink, the bath and the pink. Like the, the colors of your culottes. Exactly. <laughs> oh, how did you find out? Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> Rachel Michaels, Gourmet Popcorn. All right, what's up in the 419? That's where we're going to tell you some of the things that are coming up. Of course, it, next Sunday is Easter, so it's the week before that. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Zoo Aquarium opened up on Friday to the public. That opening is continuing today. Wow. Uh, Sylvania's having their first Easter egg hunt at Sylvania First United Methodist Church. That's going on today. Uh, dog diggity Easter egg hunt at the Toledo Pet Farm. Mm-hmm. You know about that, Steve? I do know uh-huh. about the Toledo Pet Farm. It's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah so th- and I'm sure it's a, must be a pet Easter egg hunt, I'm it guessing. Is, yeah, and fun. it's going to be over the top, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, rumor has it they might be bringing in a chef. Just saying. Ooh. <laughs> yes. uh, also, this is kind of cool. Toledo Ballet, they're doing the Alice in Wonderland over at the Valentine Theater. Oh, that's cool. Yes, yeah, so that'd be fun. Uh, we, you know what we did last week? We did uh, Wizard of Oz with the Toledo Symphony at um, at uh, Stranahan yes. Theater. Yes. That yes. was awesome. The kids loved it. So the orchestra 
live to the movie, so all the music is being played live there. Right. And, and it, it was awesome. We had a great yeah. time doing that. And this is a great time, too, because I know the Arts Commission, I do a lot with the Arts Commission, and oh. they're gearing up for a number of things. I mean, soon yeah. come up, uh, Artomatic is going to be I coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Wander yeah. the Warehouse is going to be coming up. So oh, for sure. Coming up. All right, lovemy419.com is the website if you want to get a hold of us there, find out how to advertise with the show. Uh, we're, we're booking up. we got a new one, Tap Snap, we're going to introduce you to. It's a brand new way. It's, it's kind of like photo booth on steroids. We'll tell you more about that <laughs> coming up next week. We welcome Tap Snap aboard. Yeah. Also, check us out on Facebook. We're always on there goofing and around. Yes. Blowing up. Please yeah. like it's our page, though. Yeah, we're You're looking at us, but you got to like the page. We're almost 2,500 likes, which oh, is yeah. uh, awesome. Thank you guys so much. All right, final thoughts. Steve, you got anything? I'm, telling, I'm so ready. Now, finally, we're, we're up and down roller coaster with this Weather. temperature, I and I'm ready for it to be. I am as well. Patios. Uh, patios. I'm ready <laughs> for patios. patios. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Tracy, yeah. any final thoughts? Um, you know what? Just a little bit of real estate. I'm just going to uh, throw in there that um, a sneak. This is a, a little mm -hmm. secret, but uh, Lux Free coming out in April. Um, we've got some major listing discounts coming on. Oh. And I will be revealing those. For Steve Reamy, Tracy Boyce, I'm Andrew Z from the Harold Jaffe Jeweler Studios. Thanks for watching Love My 419, everyone. We'll see you next week right here on NBC24. Okay. <laughs> what do you think about this tempo, Andrew? Close enough. Close enough? All right.